<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Valhalla. My name is Weasel, and we just finished up our day in the last episode, and now are back, I guess, in our apartment. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. I guess Shining Fingered is our apartment. Jill is lost in thought about a holo plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Okay, you can now browse Danger U. Uh, you can now visit JC Elton's. Okay, I don't know where that is, but we're going to figure it out to... Uh, well, we're going to figure it out now. Or wait, is that... Is that her store? Is that my place? I don't know. I absolutely have no idea. Shop. Let's see what we can do in the shop. Cute clay houses. Maniki Niku. Ooh. They bring you lock, but it's paws broken, so I wouldn't trust him. Um, okay, there's something that calms me down. Was it the... Where is it? BR on this count, meet the staff. Nope, 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 nope. I thought it was like a, like a plant that made me calm down, but it's not really here. The mega Christmas tree. You know what? I'm gonna get a Maniki Niku. Please click again to confirm. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy one if it brings me luck. Um, all right, perfect. Do we get the money? Is oh, is the cat the money? Oh no, there it is. There's the Maniki Niku. It's in the shelf now. So I guess, yeah, this is my place. This is where I live. This is my desk or coffee table or whatever. And I got a little cat there now. Well, that was totally worth it. <laughs> All right, let's check out what we can do with the phone here before we start a new day of working. Um, live and backup. Oh yeah, I should probably totally save. That's that's a smart, smart plan. No problem. And um, what's the other thing? D, danger, dangerous opinions. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. What it says on the tin. So what's the news on them? Hmm, drawing a blank. We haven't heard of Alice in a while. Now think of it. You think they're planning something. There's this constant rumor I hear about a terrorist attack next week. Don't scare me with that stuff, please. I have enough as it is. Lot, we're going to be attacked and it will be funny to see those white knights fucks do nothing but drink. How do you know if I get hacked by Alice? Uh, it's my first time reading about them. Lurk more. You normally lose a funny ASCII drawing in a message, something like, Happy Not Birthday. Sounds lame as fuck. Why is Alice even a celebrity? The hell? Alice was the one who leaked all the internal White Knight memos. She literally started the riots with the leaks, at least. Try with your baits. The thread is closed. Okay, so I guess it's like 4chan uh, on here. Mickey Concert 2. Anna wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I still don't know. Okay, that's just... I'm, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. I don't want to browse this. What is this? No idea. This seems to have something. The augmented eye. Local woman. Local hero. Alana Smithy. This morning, a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unfaithful local woman. The incident occurred at Artemis Will Mall, where people noticed someone was at the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as the present was noticed by pedestrians. But the person jumped off without notice. A mysterious rescuer. Just when the would-be suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch them mid-air and fled the scene before anyone could identify the mall. It's taking actually security measures now. Ah, Jill, mid-air. That sounds a bit too fantastical. Yeah, I think, I think that's what happened. Maybe the woman tried to kill herself and um, our boss rescued her. Kim. Was it Kim? I think. 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting. Okay. I think Alice Ribbit may be a dog. Don't trust this dog. A dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancement, they're capable of learning at near human speed. So why it is impossible to imagine a gifted dog who uses their brilliance for programming? It makes a lot of sense. Well, maybe I cannot read this. This is binary. I don't know binary that well that I could just read this. So I guess those purple numbers. God, what do they mean? Comments, let me know. What do they mean? Anyways. Back. I guess we're gonna go working now. That was quite interesting. Time to start a new day. Wednesday, December the 14th. Oh, it's gonna be Christmas soon. Fantastic. Evening. Hey, Jill. Oh, she. Oh, she found the helmet. Ah! <laughs> That's a sound you don't hear every day. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left, and well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the count. Wait. Do you regularly put on things without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and 
really, really cool. Hello? It's strange that you're late, Jill. Yeah, the traffic was... Ah! Don't run, you have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong? Ch -ch Chief? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto Ward somewhere safe. <laughs> that what? Where now? Nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. Are you all set? Yep. All right. Well, oh yeah, right. My music. I'm just gonna leave it like, you know what? I'm gonna put the common dream, dream away and do commencing simulation. That sounds like a plan. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Brad, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Lucky he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get for you? What do you think I want, Kit? Strap of my bra itching. Well, I guess a beer. Uh, there you go. All right, what was it? An alhyde. I guess he wants a big one, so I'm going to do double. I'll do a double one, two, three, four, and eight of those suckers. Uh, all mixed. Good. One, two, three. Stop. Damn it, I missed it up. What did I? Oh, not enough bronze extract. Bummer. Okay, gonna have to reset. I had to use four of those. I'm a silly goose. Well, you live, you learn, you make mistakes, and then you fix them, and you're good. Okay, I think no eyes. Nope. Nailed it. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we're supposed to hand the interns an article topic. <clears throat> All those crazy bitches came for looking to me like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I just switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday too, how did you come about? There's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. And I'd like to say I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. <laughs> I see. How was the interview? Easy enough, the fact, the fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. We've come a long way in the department of Lilum sex appeal, I tell you. <laughs> she was a Lilum then, I don't, I, I, I don't know what that is. Yes, one of those new fancy King Class CHA1 models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. <laughs> hmm, hey you, the guy with the John face. Huh, me? What the hell is a John face? <laughs> yeah, you, do I know you? Uh, I don't think so, sir. No, 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 I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, 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 wait. It was the Hong Kong riots 10 years ago, right? Uh, I've never been to Hong Kong and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist happy to you? 10 years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. So I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when those damn riots broke out. Seriously, though? Did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. <clears throat> this is the PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. General fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. Everything's mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... On second thought, maybe it's better to, the lac to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the industrial revolution. Well, that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all of that. Heh! <laughs> scholarship! That's no mean feat, brat! Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this Chinese idol brand. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy China can be, Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza-faced pencil neck. And I wasn't gonna allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well... I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. 
Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Canto what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the only spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to sell, seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. Anyway, surely a student with a scholarship can serve a Mars Blast too, right? <clears throat> sure, on it. Alright, Mars Blast. A Mars Blast. Uh, where would that be? By name. There you go. Alright. Six Bronson Extract. That's gonna be a big one. One Potter Delta. One, two, three, four. And two Cometry. I could double it. All blend it. Oh yeah, blending is fine. Yeah, let's, let's do a regular one. Let's not make him too drunk. I guess if he wants a third one, I'll make him drunk, but not for now. Here. Alright, I guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey kid, I got wasted yesterday, so there's certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh, good. Fuck those sons of bitches. <laughs> what did I tell you? How they wanted to unreasonable stuff, how they feel like they have more power than you, and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that, but then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when I'm drunk. That and racial slurs and German. <laughs> racial slurs and what? But let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Uh, who? Your clients. Uh, excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. But make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal, gods forbid, if you ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. <laughs> All because we got a pack of 40 year old divorced sucker moms crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by a damn namesake. <sighs> yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling assaulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present the news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but hearing it from him is kind of... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and I must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished our concert is enough of a problem already. Something to late the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason she didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Did you have to pay her something? Basically, when that Encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. Let's see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Fuck, I can't just ask what the order was. It looked very unprofessional. Well, he wants something bitter. Bitter. The gut punch will do, I guess. Bitter, manly, strong. Yeah, that, that sounds good. All right. Five Bronson extract. Orange. Oops. Ah, damn it. Oh, right. optional comma train. Okay. Lanergite. All aged into mixed. One, two, three. There you go. Success. Here. Yeah, this works just fine. Man, that gal's producer was angry as fuck. Trying to negotiate with him was a hassle. I've heard I've had less problems dealing with SoCal Justice Warriors. Who? SoCal Justice Warriors, that mafia vigilante group that runs around solving crimes in swimsuits. Oh yeah, those artificial blonde, artificially tanned folks with big blonde objects, yeah. They're an interesting group, you know. They only accept people born and raised in South California and go through hellish training on a daily basis. They have to, the no normal person can run around in swimsuits in this cold weather. They have an interesting view on the world and how it works, but they're pretty sensitive too. 
Too many outlets have insulted them in the past, so they are trigger happy against defamation. I've had a dozen guys on speedos taking me up and talking to me about some news while flaunting their bags of batteries. And they were still more polite than the producer guy. Think about it. Watching a banana hammock move at the same time as a bag of batteries was more pleasant. I'm pretty sure there's a banana hammocks and bags batteries audience somewhere, though. Well, I'm out. Thank you. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, tiring. Oh. Hey, Jill. I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> Julian was having fun. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? <coughs> How to take a Valkyrie type white knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know? I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's proper. What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you serve the Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see. Where was our number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris. I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no god up, brother. You can always trust boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Dorothy! <laughs> hey, honey. Can you see me? Ah, uh, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Whatever, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. You didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vake Jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone strapping or stripping or undressing? But I mean, the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person, the person is invisible. Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Where you can only see a few articles of clothing floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that make me invisible and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano cam module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? I guess not. They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tails with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does it have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost? For the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie surrounding colored blob. And we limit Lilim seeing things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Nothing important. What are you having? I'm going in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Uh, piano ro woman. Uh, it's, um, sweet drinks? Piano woman, there you go, all right. Five Edelheim. Oh, that seems to be a lot of stuff in there. Okay, no problem. Got you covered. New problem, Flannergite. And three, comma train. Uh, it was originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complained there should be a piano woman if there was a piano man. All right. All aged and mixed. One, two, three. Mixed success. Here you go. One piano woman. Thank you. I love those ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. That's nice. Okay, then how's this for bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know, hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if I want to get naughty though. <laughs> I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Wait, what? Do you pay him to finish that sentence? I'll make you sh 
<laughs> Make sure you truly become invisible. Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Uh, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey. What did he do? gil has been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And, you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said I'm not the one to judge. Seems like she seems to know what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better not off knowing. It's not really that necessary and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on. Now she's stuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... <clears throat> a bit early for the stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know? Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Aw, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird? The guy paid me to spend all day to pre <laughs> pretending to be his daughter. Really? I know who that was. Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m., dress as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, and go to bed when ordered and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me, but after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Does he have a daughter or not? Hat. Seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. The lead act of night of the ID snatcher's name was... Oh, damn it. Damn it, now I got... Oh, uh, a moon blast. I think it was a moon blast. Let's hope it was a moon blast. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. One part of Delta, one flint. Oh, damn it. Oh, actually, that works out. Okay, all good. All on the rocks and blended. Okay, so just fast. No relations to the Hadron Cannon you can see on the moon for one week every month. Well, good to know. Here you go. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes a little bit like sugar drawn in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC 72s look like kids? Yes and no. Out of factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to humans as possible. And then you look like babies outside the factory? Nope, every fresh DFC 72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade? Once a DFC passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know, right now I'm in a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I don't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Jamie. Good evening, Jill. Jill and Jill. Welcome to... Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules and I'll make sure every time you see it, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy your drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. 
I insist, I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay, honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine just with a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Eh, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. One big sunshine cloud and one gut punch. Press next after the first mix to make the second drink. Make both before serving. Okay, gotcha. All right, a sunshine cloud by name. Sunshine cloud, where is that? Here. Uh, two Adelheid, two Bronson extract, and karma tree. You know what? I'm gonna, just going to throw in a lot of karma tree for funsies. Uh, on the rocks and blend it. So it's just going to shake it real fast. Uh, taste like old chocolate milk when, with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. Okay, uh, next. Okay, uh, make the second drink. That was the gut punch. That's fairly easy if I remember. Name, gut punch, there you go. All right, five bronze extract, one flanergite, and optional cometrain. Oh, I'm gonna mix a lot of cometrain in there. Fantastic. Uh, all aged and mixed. Perfect, stop. All right, I added a lot of alcohol. So let's see, maybe that affects them, maybe it don't. I heard it affects it. Here you go. Is this your, I don't know what I'm doing, so I have this order? I heard restaurants do that from time to time. You don't seem too upset about it. Because I really like this one. Hey Dorothy, may I ask you something, uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenience card with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC-72 line leaves tracking nanomachines in the other persons after, well... After they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? Um, <laughs> yes. Mm, that's the same myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like. That way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy though. I've heard stories of DFC 72s who get married, get nervous off their wedding night and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that if tracking nanomachines machines were still being released, I'd have to comment their tenacity to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nano machines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you. Come please again. Please come again. That girl, someone else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Yeah! I need your girly hands for a second here! Coming! <laughs> Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry, you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast with Jill as the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? Then I can. No, right, let's... let's <laughs> do that, all the voices. <coughs> Excuse me. Really strained my voice. <coughs> my throat. All right. Um, oh, damn it. What it, Did he want a Mars Blast? Please tell me he wanted a Mars Blast. Manly, spicy, strong. Okay, let's hope that was it. Because I really need like the tips. I need to do it right. To buy all the useful things. All right. Flannergite and two Cometrine. All blended. Okay, I can do that. I think I got everything right. Oh, looks good. Here. Bitter and mind-numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Joe. Mm, so you have been to a war. Not to an official one, at least. Mm, there's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around, but I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've been often wondered about is, how can you be so calm here? Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. 
Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went high if it if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Or not to mind if you just said. Hmm. You you wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyber quest that had gone rogue. Just a rumor though. Damn, I still don't know then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's just left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should, it's quite the show. Good night, Jill. The helmet care off came off and you can take a break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. All right. Ah, we're taking a break. Wonderful. At the perfect time. That, I would say, concludes it for this episode. We're taking a break on day two. And going to continue with day two in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.